Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about voice search and how you can optimize your web presence for voice search. But just a little bit of history. Uh, voice search kind of all started with Apple and uh, Siri. When the Apple iPhones came out, we had Siri on it. You could talk to Siri. Uh, then Amazon came out with the Amazon Echo. Not very uh, easily readily available here in Australia, but it's listening all the time, can answer questions, tell you jokes, order things. Um, Google added voice search with uh, OK Google on their search thing here. Uh, not to be outdone, they've launched Google Home, which is their own listening device to compete with Amazon Echo. And then just to stay in the game as well, we got Microsoft with Cortana. Again, a voice search operation on desktop and mobile. So uh, when did this all happen? Well, folks, happy, welcome to uh, 2017, happy New Year's. But this all happened in the last 12 months. So you can see that close to 50% of the people started using voice uh, searches within the last six months. A few were early adopters before that, and, and here you go. So this is now coming out. We're finding it in, in devices and appliance, turning our lights on and off at home. We're in our cars. We've got uh, Apple, Apple Play for your car and Google Automotive with Android, so you can talk and, and manage things in your car hands-free. So this is a really up-and-coming thing. And, and what are we asking? It's the who, what, where, when, and why, and how uh, uh, questions. And uh, these are the main things, you know, we're asking, you know, when are the movies on? Where can I go to buy something? Why is the sky blue in the, or the water looks blue and the sky is blue? I mean, these are the things that are coming out. But it's important to understand these things as they pertain to intent, particularly if we're trying to get lead generation or sales for, from our website. And, and many who, what's, or, and even how's are interested, trying to do some background and research, but people's intent is, is much more refined when they get to where things are available or when they're available. Um, but again, the, the real situation here is answering the who, what, where, when, why, and, and how. Um, and so to that end, I'm happy to say uh, a much maligned FAQ page from the early days of the internet is back. Now, the challenge with putting something on an FAQ page is you get lots and lots of different queries and lots and lots of different answers. Uh, I just bring back the FAQ because I think you need to think about it, but I think in reality what really needs to happen here is that you need to be thinking, are you answering people's specific questions on your product and services pages? Is it as the, in the FAQ format? If you've got particular products or services that, that, that um, they provide answers to somebody's questions. So when you're writing your web copy or your blog copy or your landing page copy, you've got to answer the questions. Uh, Q&A is popular television format and TV shows are built around it. Uh, you need to listen to your customers, see the questions that they ask, and, and integrate them. We can clearly see from uh, tracking in Google Analytics that voice searches are longer, they're more natural. You know, show me the top 10 Thai restaurants in Albion, which is where I live. Uh, that's something we would ask Siri or, or ask Google, where if we're just typing, we'd put in, you know, Thai restaurants or Thai restaurant near me. So the, the search queries are, are more long tail, more natural, less contrived as we move towards the ver uh, voice search world. So you need to to take advantage of this with your websites, take advantage of it with your uh, landing page copy, and include frequently asked questions. Probably not a separate page for that, but, but, that, that, but that voice throughout your whole website, around your products and services, so, so that that will help you organically be listed for those particular phrases. It's a good way to, um, to actually create a lot of different phrases that are different without trying to repeat keywords over and over again repeat different ways to ask the same question that you provide an answer with your goods and services. I hope that helps you. Um, Happy New Year for 2017. Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru.